Hey Simonix, what's up? Welcome to day number 9 of the Ionic Holiday Calendar. Today, once again, a small component I discovered that is pretty cool. So, we're gonna talk about a stretchy header. A stretchy header is basically a component or directive that changes the appearance of your header once you scroll down your page. This was in Ionic 1 or 2 or 3, I can't remember really, but with version 4 it doesn't work that great until I found this package. So here we go. I started a blank new Ionic application and what I did so far is I just added a second page so I can go from page 1 to page 2 or from home to second. Then we're gonna use this great package called Ionic 4 Hide Nuff. It basically does what it says. So this is how it should look like. We have these kind of stretchy header that can contain an image or it could also just disappear. There are two ways to use this component. First of all, um, you actually have to install it. What I completely forgot in my example. So let me just quickly, quickly stop the compiler. Please stop Ionic Surf, please. Can you? No, you can't. Okay. Anyway, I will just go ahead and install it in here. So um, to use the package, you have to add it to the imports of your module. Uh, the advice on the page is to have a shared module for this. Um, well, yeah, you can have this, but for our example, we can also simply import it in the lazy loaded modules of all our pages. So this would look like uh, hide nav module. And because I don't know what's going on with my editor recently, it's not working automatically. So import from Ionic 4 hide nav. Same again. Um, hello. Hello darkness, my old friend. Um, anyway, it will work in a second. I'll just also add it already to our second module. So there we go. I hope now here's fine as well. No, still not fine. Uh, I guess in a second you will be happy. Ah, maybe a typo. So let's go back to my Ionic Surf and run this. So as I said, two ways to use this component. The first way is to simply hide your header once you scroll down the page. For this example, let's act like we have a huge uh, list of cards in our view. And once we scroll down, we want to hide the navigation bar. So that can be really handy sometimes. And if my Inox Surf works, that would be handy as well. To achieve this, uh, behavior it is actually super easy. You just go ahead and add height nav header to the header area and you add height nav content to the content area that you mark as content. So in the background this component will, uh, I guess I haven't uh, looked completely at the source code, but I guess it will hook into the uh, ion content which you mark as content and then when you scroll down the page you see the header disappears. So here's the header. Let's give this a little uh, primary color so we see what's going on. So Ionic Stretchy and there we see it a bit better. The header disappears once we scroll down our page. So implementing this is really really super easy. Um, the second part is actually a bit more complicated. For this I added a little image in the assets folder that I called Academy JPEG. And on your second page you now have to implement, or whatever you want to do is, of course, um, you have to implement a few other things. Um, to make this really short I will just bring it in and then we will talk through this. So here we go. Um, bit of content and <clears throat> for the ion content area also something. So let's go through this. Uh, what you have to define is a stretch header uh, component, so height nav stretch header and you have to apply height nav stretch header content. It's basically the same like we had in the home page, so this was height nav content, now it is marked as height nav stretch header content. No other changes to the content are needed. And within this height nav stretch header component, you can now define a bunch of things. Uh, actually, everything you see here is also documented on their page right here. So we got the header height, an opacity factor that, um, well, 
regulates the opacity, the color, if it is initially expanded or not, and if you want to have a border at the bottom. Also, they have some additional settings for the super tabs, uh, which, uh, as far as I know, don't really work with Ionic 4 yet, but perhaps they also are now released. Um, but anyway, the general idea, as you can see, is to have this component uh, with something marked as shrink expand, which should be the image, and then also having something marked with static in the uh, header that could be the title or your navigation bar. And what I did is I used the component. <clears throat> I used an ion toolbar and marked it as static. So remember, static is uh, what you still want to display. And in here, we now got the standard back button. You just have to take a bit care about the colors because when you find a color here, the effect uh, is not really like you think it would be. And in the string expand, I have now my image. And actually, you can also use this component from code if you want to. So if you want to use it from code, you have to import the uh, view child and it looks like this. Let's see if all missing imports, nice. So you can import the height enough stretch header component and then use this dot uh, height enough and then, for example, called toggle. I think they have three functions. Um, toggle is basically shrink or expand uh, whatever is currently active. So with all that in place, let's take another look at our application. And we see we can go to the second. Because I defined to init expanded true, we see initially the whole picture. And when I now scroll down, what happens is the image becomes smaller and also the opacity that we defined makes a nice uh, overlay. And you see my header is still in place. And when I scroll down like on a regular page, we see this nice effect of the opacity in place. So we could also change all of these uh, and mix or shake things a bit up. And now the uh, opacity is red, as you can see. And I can scroll up. And it's actually, in fact, very red. Maybe that could be my new design for the Academy. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe one day. So we can give this also a nice blue. We have no border defined um, to false. If we set this to true, uh, you will currently notice this little border, which looks a bit ugly. I'm not 100% sure why it is there. But if you specify true, you won't see it anymore but you will also not have this box shadow once it is expanded. So perhaps we could tweak this a bit more with some CSS. But anyway, we have now a stretchy header with an image inside uh, that we can control pretty nicely. Uh, we can go back, we can go back here, and it works on our page really, really great. Great component, check it out, Ionic for HeightNav. That's it for the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick explanation of this cool component. Actually, just has a few stars, um, 12 exactly. I don't know why. So perhaps give this component some nice stars. It definitely deserves the stars. I think it's a great component. I might use it in one of my next apps. I hope you too. And I will catch you, of course, with the next day tomorrow. Mm -hmm.